In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Redrum and Kong. I want to basically demonstrate to you how you can connect Kong with Redrum in order to use Redrum's pattern sequencer. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and put a mixer in your Reason Rack. Scroll down here to Mixer 14. Point two. Put that in there. Press the tab, and if, when once you press tab and turn that around, you see that the master out automatically goes into the into the input of the hardware interface one and two. So everything that you connect to the mixer is gonna you're gonna hear. You're gonna go ahead and scroll up. Drag Kung over to your rack. Let that load up and then go ahead and drag Redrum right up under it. Hit tab again and notice that the outputs of both Kong and the Redrum automatically goes to channel 1 and channel 2. So everything you hear in channel 1 is coming from the Kong. As you can see here, and everything in channel 2 from the redrum. Now, what I'm going to do is actually disconnect the redrum and initialize all the patches on the redrum in order for us to get the sounds from the Kong to go into the step sequencer because for a lot of people it's just easier to work with a sequencer, come up with a nice drum sequence instead of recording with Kong, depending on what you're used to or what your niche is. So what you're going to do is go ahead, right click, and scroll to initialize patch, and that's going to empty out each of the patches in the channels. From there, you're going to press tab again, and then what you're going to do is gate the channel from the redrum to the channel, a corresponding channel on com. Turn it back around and hit channel one on the redrum and notice that once you hit channel one on the redrum you can hear the bass that's coming from com. So if you press the left on channel one, you now have your pattern sequencer connected to redrum. And then it's basically the same throughout, and I'll walk you through that. Take two, this is just the gate in coming from Kong to the gate on the redrum. It, it just doesn't say it. I'm just taking each one of these and connecting them. It's only going to give you ten, so you just you're going to have to select the ones that you want. And if you want it, if you needed more channels, say for instance you were using all 16 patches from the Kong, only thing that you would have to do is get another redrum, disconnect that from the mixer, and then connect channel 1 <coughs> to channel 11, and so forth. Channel 2 to channel 12, and then turn that around. Always initialize, and that's number 11 and 12 on the second three drums. One thing that I've learned to always do is to rename your re drums or whatever you're doing in order for you to keep everything organized. So, there you have it. All these works. Two is the snare. Three. Closed hi-hat. Open hi-hat. Bass. And then, all you have to do is press select. And then, you have a nice beat going. Just play around with it.
And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be doing more reasons tutorials soon.